To remove the upper rack assembly, pull one of the rack slides out and with a small bladed screwdriver or a similar instrument, slightly pry the locking tab through the notched area of the track as seen here, taking care not to break it. Then pull the end cap straight off the end of the slide. Repeat this procedure for the end cap on the other side. Then to completely remove the upper rack assembly, simply slide it straight out. Note the upper level spray arm. This new design upper spray arm has smaller jets, creating greater velocity and pressure of water. To remove the upper spray arm, the dishwasher must be pulled out and then the tub insulation removed on the top of the machine to locate the two screws as the technician is doing here. Remove the two screws on top while securing the spray arm with your hand inside the tub to prevent it from falling. Once the screws are removed, the spray arm will drop down. Note the location of the hose for the upper spray arm and how on this model it is routed on the left side of the machine. The new power scrub wash system with smaller jet holes and greater pressure rotates the arms and enables the water and the detergent to reach all parts of the load. More pressure ensures the power scrub cleaning action. Next, to remove the lower spray arm, take note of the new locking tab design you will see on the back side of the spray arm base. This tab can be accessed with a screwdriver as the technician is doing in this video. Gently pry outward on the locking tab in order for the lip on the spray arm to clear the back side of the tab as seen here. Once the tab is gently pried out, the spray arm will simply pull straight up and off. Extra fine filtration has now been added to the standard tub dishwashers. It takes clean water to get dishes clean, and by adding this extra fine filter, dishwashers can filter down to one one hundredth of an inch and prevent soils from redepositing on the dishware. With the self-cleaning extra fine filter, water is continuously cleaning the filter. Next, to remove the fine filter, locate and remove this one screw. Note the slight angle of the filter is normal. Now you'll just do the opposite with the locking tab by pressing slightly inward on the tab to clear the lip of the filter. This can be accomplished with your finger as the technician is doing in this video. Note the front of the filter has a rubber coupler that must be securely in place. And on the back of the filter, you will note where the filter port fits into the hole for the sump. Now remove the filter. Here's a closer look of the rubber coupler that helps direct dirty water up into the fine filter. If the coupler comes off, be sure and put it securely back into place upon reinstallation of the filter. Remove these two screws on the sump inlet cover while noting the holes on the cover that are designed to keep large debris from going through the openings while smaller particles will get into the sump area. Lift up on the sump cover. And then you'll note the sump cap. Lift it up and out and note the notched area as it can only be properly installed one way. With the cap out, you can inspect the sump area for debris and broken glass. Use proper safety procedures and Kevlar gloves before reaching down into the sump area. Note the white ball seen here that is utilized in this new water distribution system discussed in more detail on the motor video clip on this CD. And lastly, the shower base can be removed by simply unscrewing it counterclockwise and lifting it straight up. 